Hey guys, this is Martin from howtomakemobilegames.com on November the 17th now, 2014. Uh, and I probably look pretty messy right now and, and uh, kind of a little bit sick. I've been fighting the cold this past sort of two, three days. Uh, the weather here in China has dropped uh, temperature-wise and uh, I'm super temperature sensitive. So as soon as the temperature drops, I start to get sick and... I get a fever and it's uh, it's a bit horrible. Um, not too bad though, not like a year and a half ago where I was like desperately, desperately sick. So uh, you might be able to just see over there, I've sort of got my hot water and some pills ready. So I've been downing those and trying to relax a little bit more. So wherever you are, please stay warm if the temperature is changing at the moment. Uh, this is the time for fevers and colds. So take care, guys. Uh, anyway, in this video, what I want to talk about is uh, making money in... Uh, with alternative ad networks, so there's separate ad networks uh, outside of the ones that we normally use, uh, and also having uh, extra revenue by creating an exit button. So I'll show you what I mean quickly. Uh, this is Sniper XXX. Uh, this is actually version two, which isn't live as of today, but it's nearly finished. Uh, and you can notice in the bottom left there, we have an exit button. Uh, we do have it in other games as well. And the idea is that we want to get the user to press this button to exit the game. Why? Because it will show an ad. Now, hopefully this will work because my ad network is a bit slow. So there you go. So on the Kindle, it turns out upside down. On other devices, it turns up fine. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes... Um, uh, it, no, it works most of the time, actually. The ads do appear most of the time. Uh, but this is one of the Kindle ones. So I'll just cross this off. And there you go. The app closes down, which is correct. Uh, I'll restart it and try to show you another one. Uh, usually on a Kindle, um, the ads are not amazing. They're probably targeting other Android devices outside of the Kindle. Uh, but the cool thing is with an exit button, like I say, guys, it's the perfect time to show the user an ad uh, because if they're going out of the game and they've had enough of playing it or if they don't like the game maybe and they want to go to another one, they tap on the exit button, they're going to leave it. So that's a perfect time to show them an ad for another game where you can make some money. So uh, I'll try it again. So here's tapping on the exit button. Maybe it will load, maybe it won't. It usually does. It's because of a terrible internet connection. So I got the same ad there, but anyway, sometimes what you get is you get like a 3D uh, scrolling ad as well from, from this network. Um, and they just like show a bunch of different games as well. I'll turn off my VPN. That might affect it a little bit. Uh, da, da, da. So the other way that we do it as well is we show an exit button after it's game over. So what will happen is the user will play a session of the game. They'll die or perhaps they'll complete the level. And then we'll have a pop-up that'll say next level, here's your score and whatever. And at the bottom, what we've often put is an exit game button. So the user doesn't have enough time now or they, wanna, they don't want to play anymore at the moment. So they'll tap the exit button in that situation. And again, it will show the ad. So let's try it again. We'll see if we'll get a different one. Okay, so that's a little bit different. Um, again, it's upside down on the Kindle, but on my other device, my uh, Sony, it works fine. And on other devices, it works fine as well. So I think once these are tapped, then it, it goes to Google Play or it goes to some other app store. So uh, definitely show a um, show a uh, an exit uh, an exit button in your games and show an ad when the user taps that exit button. It's probably the best time to actually get the user to tap on an ad and download another game or view a video or whatever it may be. And uh, But let me know, guys, if people have used that technique before, if you found it to be really useful. So uh, the network that I'm using here, guys, they already have the functionality for that. We do it with Chart Boost in some of the games previously, but this network, actually, they, they give a Unity plugin, which is the one that we use, um, but they have for Android as well and, and iOS native. Uh, and what they do is they actually pause the game for you automatically and then let that ad appear. And if you cross off the ad, cancel it, it will just uh, automatically exit the game. At the moment, Chart Boost doesn't seem to pause Unity for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, so just to show you some stats, this is, uh, let me see. Um, I'm trying to look at the screen. So this at the moment, guys, this, uh, the stats here, these are all the impressions. Okay. So. Uh, it's gone to around, there's 120 a day there, and it's kind of slowly going up recently. 
and it's reached around 240, 280 there. Uh, this is just for one game, guys. This is just Sniper XXX, the, ga the game that you just saw, and it's only on the Google Play market. This is not in any other app store right now. This is just one single game that you're seeing. So that's why the impressions are not super high, okay? But we're gonna change that. What we're planning to do is publish this game onto more app stores and um, you know spread the risk. And this is not chart boost, this is not ad mob, it's a different network. So that's a, that's a, a good thing because that helps to spread the risk as well. Not just the publishing on or to other app stores, guys, not trying to find other ways, not just making money in other ways, other monetization, but also spread out your networks as well. Uh, if you're cancelled from AdMob and all of your games are in AdMob or you're cancelled from Chartboost and all your games are in Chartboost, then that's a big, big problem. So always spread your risk. Uh, in terms of revenue, just for these impressions, um, I don't think it's too bad, actually. I think I think that's pretty good. We had a big spike there where it made uh, $7.07, .07, which is really good. I wish that was every day. Um, a couple of the days here made zero, which is not... Uh, that's not a surprise considering like the low number of impressions. Uh, at the moment, this game, Sniper XXX on Google, only makes around 100 downloads a day. Recently, it went up to 120, 150. Uh, and it's not the type of game that shows um, a lot of ads all the time. So this is actually okay considering. Uh, we made, for example, there, that was uh, $1.40, and that was with uh, 155 impressions. Uh, here it's made 60 cents, 10 cents, 40 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, a dollar, zero, 50 cents, 40 cents. So yeah, that's not too bad considering the, uh, the amount of uh, impressions that have actually happened, uh, that we've actually had for this game. So, um, and just to give you a little bit more information as well, uh, United States is only around, what was that? I don't know, 20%, 15% or something. India actually has uh, uh, more impressions, I think. Is this impressions? Yeah, impressions. Uh, Germany and then Turkey as well, which is surprising. And then Philippines is also quite big. So, yeah. Uh, but definitely, you know, check it out, guys. Um, the If you want to see this ad network, it, uh, I'm actually going to give a link in the video down in the description or down on the forum post. Uh, please click that link if you want to check it out. The reason is it's a referral link, so we get some extra money if we refer developers. I don't I don't refer things that I don't recommend, guys, so don't worry about it. We've tested it. We've seen the money. We've tested the, uh, uh, the SDK as well, uh, and it just helps support me in the forum. So if you do check it out, then please click the link below, and then you can go to this. Uh, they do have uh, Android native, iOS native, and a Unity plugin as well. Uh, and for the first, I think, if you use the link that I, I will paste, if you click on that one and sign up, you get a 1,000... Sorry, $15 for the first thousand installs. And I think another $15 or something for the next 100,000 impressions or something like that. Um, so let me just check. Sorry, guys, I forgot what they said before. Uh, a thousand, yeah, you get $15 for the, the first thousand downloads. That's just an extra $15 for you. And then $15 for the first 100,000 impressions. Uh, and then we make roughly the same for the referral as well. So. Yeah, like I say, guys, I don't recommend things that we that we haven't used. So, um, but I hope it works well. Please let me know. I know some of you out there have also used alternative ad networks for your games. Always spread the risk, guys. Always spread the ad networks. Always spread out the app stores as well, which is what we're trying to do more recently as well. Uh, and I'm going to do more videos on that once we get onto different networks like GetJar, T Store, um, a whole bunch of others. I can't remember them right now. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think of this video, guys, and I'm going to speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.